My name is uh, Nazneen and I am working in the television production, film production industry. I've actually started to go in and maybe learn a lot more about my faith and I guess that is as a result of 9-11 as well, which is, I think... How is that a result of 9-11? Well, because, you know, when you're sort of pushed to a corner and you're pointed at, you're going, well, what are they pointing at? So you decide to find out about the fate and lo and behold, it's, it's not what they say it is and you embrace it. So I think in that way, for me, it was a very, very positive turn because I'm like, and so, I mean, I took it upon myself. I was studying media anyway before and I took it upon myself and I said, I am never if I have the capacity going to allow for our religion to be misrepresented, I will try and make at least one bit of effort to sort of dent into the to the barrage of like sort of insults that are thrown into Islam when it's literally coming from a point of ignorance. Because I had to go in, like I had to go in because you know, you're sort of pushed to a corner and everybody's pointing bad, 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 Muslim, bad, Muslim, bad. So you turn around and you go into yourself, what is bad? I want to know. Of course, you know, you can go to the opposite end, and a lot of people have, will like completely reject who they are and, you know, embrace what is not bad. <laughs> but, you know, I felt this was intrinsically a part of me, and I didn't think that I should have abandoned it. Rather, I, f I wanted to explore it more, and when on, on exploring it, I found that it's not bad, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's, so it's brilliant, yeah. Given your background, um, what are some of the observations that you've made when, you know, in the course of interviewing or filming people regarding Muslim-West relations? In a way, Muslims don't are, are, are trying to sort of grapple with how to sort of come up with a response. I think for the first initial response after 9-11 was like, sorry, 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 that's not who Muslims are, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and I think after a point in time, we realized, why are we apologizing? Because we didn't do it, we're like the 99%. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, we are the 99%. And um, wh why should we have to apologize? So ha from there, there's a more sort of uh, active dialogue where it's like, well, why don't you get to know more about Islam? So what we'll do then is we will then try to inform you more about Islam. We'll open up our you know, mosques and or you know, have more sort of Islamic information days, uh, things like that to that effect. Um, and then now I think I'm, I'm, I don't feel like there's a much clearer perspective um, now in terms of where the Muslim stance is but in some respects I find that there is still that first initial cringe from I can't believe Muslims did that in, ni in nine, you know, September 9, 2001 and basically I feel bad and you know not only that because of the bad press generally in the media since 9-11 I guess Muslims just don't feel as confident and I'm, I'm maybe perhaps I'm making excuses but in many respects I don't feel like there's very much an ownership in the sense that where they're saying that well we're Muslims and there's really nothing wrong with us or our faith. I think when when we're sort of reflecting on this sort of perspective of whether it is an inescapable fact for the Australian context uh, or just Muslims in, in in this context, in this in this time and age, post 9/11, to to feel a little bit threatened or apologist or not confident to represent themselves as Muslims, um, you know, it 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 does have its validity. Um, but I think you know, if we look at like history, it's when people take their ownership of who they are and you know make no apologies for who they are that's when change actually is possible. I mean, I don't have to go too far back, but the civil rights rallies in America, civil rights fights, civil rights, civil rights. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that everywhere has made a difference. And more particularly, if you look at the African-American uh, cause in, in, in just what, four decades, four or five decades ago? So half a century ago, which isn't that long.